Bruce Lee would have celebrated his 78th birthday on November 27, 2018. The martial arts expert completed only a handful of films before his untimely death in 1973 at the age of 32. But how many of those titles are classics? In honor of his birthday, let's take a look back at all six of his films, ranked worst to best. Born in the Chinatown neighborhood of San Francisco, California, in 1940, Lee was raised with his family in Kowloon, Hong Kong. He began appearing in several films as a child, often in small bit roles, but abandoned acting to pursue a career in martial arts. His hiatus from the screen didn't last long. In 1966, Lee was cast as Cato in the short-lived television adventure The Green Hornet, later making appearances as the character on Batman. He played a small role in the mystery film Marlowe, 1969, as a kung fu fighter who destroys private eye James Garner's office before suffering a tragic demise. Lee became a leading man after returning to Hong Kong to make The Big Boss, 1971. It was the first in a series of martial arts films the actor would headline, including Fist of Fury, 1972, The Way of the Dragon, 1973, and the posthumously released Game of Death, 1978. Hollywood came calling once again with Enter the Dragon, 1973, a big-budget spectacular that could have launched the actor to superstardom had he not died from cerebral edema three weeks before it opened. In a sad irony, Lee's son, Brandon, died in 1993 at the age of 28 while filming The Crow when an improperly loaded prop gun misfired. Tour our gallery of Bruce Lee movies and see if your favorite topped the list. Six, Game of Death, 1978. Directed by Bruce Lee and Robert Klaus. Written by Lee. Starring James Tian, Chi Yuan, Dan Inosanto, Ji Han Jae, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Huang In Shik. Game of Death holds an odds distinction in Lee's filmography. The actor writer director left production midway through to shoot Enter the Dragon, dying three weeks before that movie's release in 1973. As a result, Dragon director Robert Klaus was enlisted to complete production using two stand-ins and archival footage of the actor, including his actual funeral. As a result, this popboiler about a martial arts movie star, Lee, who fakes his own death in order to find the people who are trying to kill him feels understandably misshapen. 5. Marlowe, 1969 November 25, 2023, 8.33 a.m. Directed by Paul Bogart. Screenplay by Sterling Siliphant, based on the novel The Little Sister by Raymond Chandler. Starring James Garner, Gail Honeycutt, Carol O'Connor, Rita Moreno, William Daniels. After appearing on the small screen in Batman and the Green Hornet, Lee made his American movie debut with this amusing Raymond Chandler adaptation. This time's it's James Garner taking on the role of Rye, introspective private I Philip Marlowe, most famously played by Humphrey Bogart in The Big Sleep. While investigating the disappearance of a young man, he encounters a karate expert, Lee, who chops up his office before falling from a building while attempting a spectacular high kick. 4. The Big Boss, a.k.a. Fists of Fury, 1971, November 25, 2023, 8.33 a.m. Directed by Lo Wei. Written by Bruce Lee and Wei. Starring Maria E., James Tian, Nora Miao. The Big Boss isn't exactly a marvel of storytelling, but it did establish Lee as a major movie star. He plays a young student striving for a peaceful life while working with his cousins in an ice factory. A former fighter, he swore an oath of nonviolence that you just know he'll have to break eventually. His time comes when he finds out the factory is actually a front for drug smugglers. Also released as Fists of Fury. 3. The Way of the Dragon, a.k.a. Return of the Dragon, 1972. Written and directed by Bruce Lee. Starring Nora Miao, Paul Wei, Wang Cheng Hsin, Tony Liu, Unicorn Chan, Chuck Norris, Melissa Longo, Robert Wall, Huang In Shik. In The Way of the Dragon, Lee gets to show off both his kung fu skills and his comedic chops, making for a whimsical martial arts adventure. He stars as a man visiting his family at their restaurant in Italy who soon has to defend them against a pack of violent gangsters. 
Chuck Norris makes his film debut and squares off against Lee in the final fight, also released as Return of the Dragon. 2. Fists of Fury, a.k.a. The Chinese Connection, 1972 Written and directed by Lo Wei Starring Nora Miao, Ricky Hashimoto, Robert Baker, Tian Fung, Paul Wei, Feng Nai Lee is out for blood in this entertaining romp about a martial artist who seeks vengeance after his kung fu master is killed. When he finds out a Japanese drug smuggling ring is to blame, their days are numbered. Violent in the extreme and gracefully choreographed, Fists of Fury showed off the best of what Lee could do. Also released as The Chinese Connection, the film inspired a series of sequels produced after the actor's death. 1. Enter the Dragon, 1973 Directed by Robert Klaus Written by Michael Allen Starring John Saxon, Anna Capri, Bob Wall, Shi Qian, Jim Kelly Enter the Dragon was the last film Lee completed before his untimely death in 1973 at the age of 32, and it points to the stellar Hollywood career he could have had. He stars as a martial arts expert who agrees to spy on a drug kingpin by accepting his invitation to a kung fu tournament. Director Robert Klaus foregoes plot in favor of mind-blowing fight sequences, showing off the very best of his star's abilities. Look out for Jackie Chan in an early role. Thank <laughs> you.